Welcome to the Mom Sense Podcast. I'm Cambria. And I'm Kylie. So today, the topic that we're going to talk about is kind of funny. So recently, somebody asked me, uh, they have a baby, he just turned one. And they said, oh my gosh, I really don't know if I want another one. You know, it's been a rough year. And your Mm. first one is always pretty rough. Yeah. And she said, but secondly, like, gosh, I love my siblings so much. And she asked me, what is the one thing, you know, that you struggle with as an only child? Or what is something you struggled with um, that, like, is still relevant in your life now? And, I mean, I have a brother, but he's 10 years old. Oh, yeah. Um, Major. Yeah. So Age gap. So. Yeah, we didn't grow up together. Like, big difference. And my response to her was, uh, well, I get overstimulated really easily. And then I was like, you know what? Kylie's got siblings. I wonder if she gets overstimulated. Let's talk about this. I definitely do. Uh, but mine's <laughs> not, like, I don't know that it has anything to do with, um, like, whether you have siblings or not. So the way I thought about it, and I, I thought about it for a minute, and I was like, you know what? Um, because, you know, my house was always silent. And I was always alone, which was another thing that I said, you know, <clears throat> There's a lot of times where when you're an only child, you're just alone and, you know, you just hang out and do whatever and you're totally fine playing Barbies by yourself. Yeah. And um, here recently, now that Oakley's walking and, you know, trying to talk, uh, Jet likes to ride this tricycle where he tied a wagon to the back of it. So it's kind of like a trailer. Yeah. And he just flies around the house and it's loud. And oh Oakley, gosh. like, Frankenstein walks behind him. And she's like, ah, ah, ah. But the wagon is so loud. You're like, holy cow. And I'm like, they're having so much fun. And and I get to the point where I'm like, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh, oh, my gosh. The noise. Like, I can't take it. The noise, the noise, the noise. And, it, and I start to feel guilty. And I'm convicted because I'm like, Lord, don't let me snap. Like, help me to find patience in this moment. My kids are being so sweet and cute. But for me personally, I'm just over there like, uh, like, oh, my gosh, ah, like, I can't handle it. And, you know, that's kind of what I thought of um, in the sense of that overstimulation. And I have another example later. But tell me about, like, how being a mom or just in life in general, that sort of overstimulation or not that sort of, but how does overstimulation affect you? Yeah. So I think that. Uh, so I have two younger brothers and then I have a half sister. I didn't grow up with my sister. And so kind of similar uh, situation. She is older. Um, so we didn't grow up in the same household. All that good jazz. So I grew up with my brothers. Um, and our rooms were literally like across the hall from each other. We shared a bathroom. Um, <clears throat> my middle brother is like four years younger and my youngest brother is six years younger than me. So like there's not a huge age gap, but there's enough of an age gap. Yeah. But we did everything together. And I think, um, like, I think back, our house is just always loud. Like, music playing and TVs on and people talking and friends over and just, like, our house was always loud. I am not faced by that whatsoever, which is actually funny because my husband, he's a third. I'm a, I'm the first. My husband is the third child, and he's the opposite. He's, like, got to turn the music down so I can see. You gotta exactly. Oh, my gosh. Me, too. And I'm like, <laughs> on, let's go, right? <laughs> I, we're not the same people. That's um, funny. <laughs> but I get overstimulated in situations like, for example, um, where I feel like I'm either burdening somebody else or like I feel like I'm on a time constraint. <clears throat> I think because we were like, as a family, when you have three kids, you're going, you're, you're late to everything, mm-hmm. right? Uh, and so I think like we were late to, a, we were late to a lot of stuff. So as an adult, I was like, I do not want to be late. Uh, sorry my throat I'm always late now with kids yeah I don't like to be late so like this last weekend we went to the stars game with some friends before we got to the game I didn't want Xander to be like in his car seat driving from our house to the stadium or to the rink um in like sweatshirt sweatpants hoodie all the things right so I didn't dress him prior to getting there so when we got there we're parking in a parking garage and <clears throat> typically we take my car but we took Brady's truck this time and um the way that he parked he backed in so I would typically have used like the tailgate to be able yes. to change Xander so couldn't use a tailgate it's dark in there <clears throat> don't have a whole lot of lights 
Xander is on the seats. Of course, the seats in the back are kind of slanted, so yep. he's, like, rolling into the side. He's getting angry. Brady's like, hey, our friends are waiting on us. And I'm like, I can't get Xander's shoes on. I I physically started, like, have you ever had, like, stress hives? Oh, yes. Like, my, my chest was blister red all the way, like, up my neck. My face got red. Like, my hands were shaking. Why? I have no idea. It's, it's just. And it happened that fast. And I told Brady, I was like, I, like, I need you to hold him. Like, I can't right now. Like, I'm going to blow up. Yeah. And Brady's like, dang, what's wrong with you? <laughs> And and like, course, at I'm least like, I'm communicating. Like, like I I'm don't any- even, I couldn't even tell you what's happening right now, but the fact that all of this is happening. So many things all at once. It's just beyond what I can handle in this moment. Yeah. It's a small thing, but yeah, like I think it's feeling restricted, time constraint. Like I'm burdening somebody. I else. feel that. That's yeah. whenever I feel overstimulated, not necessarily by sound. See Another weird only child thing. I mean, whenever you are alone for so long, and and not alone, but like I'm like alone time. Please, you don't you don't have to talk to somebody all day all the time. And now I'll get in seasons where I'm like, oh, like I just had to talk for way too long to way too many people, and I'm like, this isn't fun. And I'm like, man, but siblings. I mean, you know. Justin mentioned growing up, he had two older sisters and he said, you know, our house was always loud. They were always fighting in the bathroom and, you know, I always got the last shower. So when we moved, Jet is not going to share a bathroom with those girls. I'm like, oh Uh, my gosh. But, um, so for me, like even just seasons of like having to do too much or mentally preparing to do something, I get overstimulated about and, you know, I'll catch myself sometimes. This is super silly. But if we're going to like a work event for Justin or something, I'm like, I sit there and I'm like, okay, so-and-so and and -and so-and-so and and their wife and then their kids. And then, and then I'm, but I don't, I know all of this, but I'm like mentally preparing myself and already overstimulating myself because I'm like, you can never be too prepared. (laughs) I, um, something else that I feel like is kind of an overstimulating thing for me is my house is messy. Oh, yeah. I cannot function in like a messy, uh, messy house. Don't look at my closet though. Uh, you can't but, see the door shuts. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> close the door. Um, but a messy house, like my um, house, has to be picked up pretty much all the time. Otherwise, I start to feel like okay, if you come out to my house and my house is just a freaking disaster, looks like a tornado has been through it. I guarantee you, my head is a hot mess. Oh yeah, I <clears throat> my head is probably in fifteen mm-hmm. different places, and I start to get snappy. Oh, I do too. My house. I get spicy and my I, house is a mess. I will. You know those back like, Brady, comments you make. Why are you not helping? I'll text Justin and I'm like, I've had enough. Everything's a mess. You just shove stuff in your drawers. There's toy cars everywhere. If you bring home another Hot Wheels, I'm going to lose my mind. And what does he always do? Every time he comes back from being out of town, more toys. I'm like, we don't need more toys. We can't handle more toys. Like we are busting out of our house. Last night, I literally um, gave Xander a bath and got him out of the bath, <clears throat> took him to Brady, and I said, can you please put his pajamas on so I can go clean his room? Because if I step on another toy, I'm throwing. Oh. Mm. He has this monkey thing that, like, it's got, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's got the, like, handlebars, like, yes. the circular bars and a monkey, and it, like, mm-hmm. rolls as, like, a crawling toy. It's so loud. <clears throat> it, yep. Well, I stepped on that stupid thing. Trying to, I don't know what I was doing. In the middle of the night, the other night, my God, it was going to go through the wall if I wasn't holding Xander. Literally, oh, I was man. Like, <laughs> Jet's wagon toy or whatever, whatever <laughs> contraption they made. But, okay, so tell me if I'm crazy about this one. Um, so you love loud music in the car. Justin loves loud music in the car. Jet loves loud music in the car. I Xander be bumping into my music. Oh, the kids love it. But I... Like, I have my certain point. I'm like, okay, this is the loudest. Unless I'm, like, just, like, overly jolly for some odd reason. I mean, we were listening to uh, Mariah Carey. All I want for Christmas is you this morning. Oh it was a little bit loud. Oh, my gosh. Jet loves Christmas time. And we went and picked <laughs> out some 
stuff for Christmas this past weekend. Oh. And he is in the mood. He is ready to celebrate Jesus' birthday. Yes. He's like, oh, it's Jesus' happy birthday. I'm like, oh, my God. And then he's like, mommy, but how old is he turning? And I'm like, like, you know. It's a great question. Yeah. That's one that I don't really know, but you're going to be four. Like, <laughs> and he's like, I'm going to be four. <laughs> Yes. Yes. <laughs> yes. Double yes. <laughs> but okay, so along with like the loud music in the car, this is something I could never be a Jeep driver, like the Jeep with the top off. I could never have a convertible. I cannot handle the the windows being rolled down and the noise. It's different. Oh, it I is can't. different. I can't. My first car was a convertible Mustang. Was it really? Yes. How fun. <laughs> it was the best. It was the best. Um, it's definitely different. With the windows down and it's like, that's like, Thumping sound? Yeah. Yeah. Cannot handle it. That's something I'm like, oh my God. Brady, because Brady wants the windows down all the time. I'm like, oh, roll the dang windows up. Yeah. Um, and he's like, well, if you would roll yours down, it would make that <laughs> But I don't want to. Oh, man. I'm like, if my hair's up, okay, we'll have a conversation. Because then it's like whipping me in the eyes. I need to have sunglasses. Exactly. Like, it has to be the right time. And he's like, how did you ever have a convertible? And I'm like, I don't know. It was different. I was 16. Yeah, well, and that's a lot of living life and living free (laughs) with age, too. In some instances, I mean, I did you see what I posted? Like, I can't hear without my glasses. You just said something (laughs) similar, but really, with age, I'm like, oh man, it should all my senses have to be on the same level, not one of them over stimulated more than the other, or things are just all kinds of wacko. No, I do my best thinking when the music is on and it is loud. And like, I've asked, I've had my car for seven years, paid it off bless good for you um and i have asked brady for many years i would love to have a sound system in my car because the radio just doesn't go up loud enough if i can hear myself singing <laughs> over the radio i can hear myself think <laughs> it's not loud enough <laughs> brady that's your cue christmas is around the merry corner. christmas kylie mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> actually um i think i'm gonna get a vacuum cleaner for christmas because my vacuum cleaner broke oh <gasps> you know what i want for christmas actually justin don't buy me this but uh, I want the vacuum that steam mops. I had one of those. Did it break? Oh, no. the reviews are so mixed. I did. It didn't break, but I just, I felt like my floors were still dirty. Oh. Yeah. But uh, maybe they've come a long way since then. We'll do some research. and we'll, That we'll, was like probably four, three or four years ago. Yeah, because I feel like my floors are just, it's endless. Just everything. Yeah. Everything that everyone's tracking into the house. And then that just makes you overstimulated. Exactly. Oh. You're like, oh my, you're like trying to walk around the house with no shoes on. You're like, oh, there's stuff on my feet. I'm like a whole macaroni shell between my toes right now. I'm not happy about it. <laughs> and I'm not even kidding. I'm just. You're like, we haven't even had macaroni this week. Exactly. I'm like, from what <laughs> week was this? Oh Oh my goodness. That's hilarious. And I told Justin, and I've been telling the kids, I mean, obviously, Jet and Oakley don't really understand, but I've told Justin and Kenzie, when we move, none of this is happening. Y'all are going to have to eat outside or something, because I can't handle it. I'm going to have to tell you a secret. It will be happening. I know. I know. <laughs> oh, and like Oakley this morning, Jet decided that he was going to give her a brownie for breakfast. Well, I was trying to get them out the door for school, and I had given her breakfast. Well, she threw brother. her, uh, not broccoli, her banana on the floor because she was about to eat that brownie you know she was and i get back and i have her cute outfit on she, you know to get her ready for school and i look over and her blonde hair is like all <laughs> like a chocolate and then chocolate and all and i'm like oh and, and i was trying to you know i told you i'm very type a and i had to plan out my day so that i could make sure i dropped them off at x amount of time so that i could get to this point at x time and then i had this that much time for hilarious. this 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 and i'm like oh, this brownie thing oh my gosh like now now my whole day is gonna be thrown off and it's really not that big of a deal and honestly it's something that i've been praying about constantly and first of all for god to like help slow me down and help me really enjoy more moments more because the mess will be clean yeah. In 10 years from now, I'm going to be sad because there's not, a, well, there's going to be a different type of mess. Yeah. This won't be that mess. It won't but be that yeah, mess. exactly. And it's something as a mom, like you think about those times whenever it's a mess and the kids are dirty and then they're loud, but I have a loud house. Like stop Cambria. Be thankful. You know what I can't handle being loud? When we got to restaurants and my son said to the high chair and he's like, ah! I'm like, oh my God, shh. We're in public. 
He <laughs> sounds like a pterodactyl. <laughs> like, oh, don't act like you do at home. <laughs> don't be yourself. Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. We went to Olive Garden the other night and he's like trying to stand up in the high chair and he's like smacking the table and then he's like, ah! And I'm like, oh my God, please stop. People are looking at us. See, for, for a good season, <laughs> I would be like, I don't even want to go out to eat if we're going to take the kids with us because it was just so bad. <laughs> and now um, we've gotten better. And I think that part of that has to do with the fact that, I mean, we had this discussion on our very first episode where we disagree about tablets and phones. And one thing that we don't do with the kids, especially at dinner or at a restaurant, is our tablets is tab whatever tablets and phones but so now they know how to act a little more decent than feral (laughs) (laughs) she is still feral and they can't they jet will like sit down and talk with us at a restaurant obviously kenzie we don't have to worry about her Mm -hmm. at a restaurant and oakley you know she sits down and we've learned like you can't climb out of the chair you're gonna fall out of the chair Mm -hmm. and but that is an unrealistic expectation to set on your kids and on yourself. Because ultimately, I set myself up for failure in that. And I, I know that. And that's something that I'm like, okay, Justin and I decided this. And we have to be strong together in our word about this. And then he'll go over there and be letting Jet get off with something. And I'm like, I'm sorry, what? You, we were supposed to be agreeing here. <laughs> that's so funny. Uh, <clears throat> back up, Backtrack here onto our first episode. You know how we talked about nowhere does the coloring pages anymore. Yes. So we went to Olive mm-hmm. Garden. And Xander, who can't color, couldn't hold a crayon if he gave it to him. Oh, they put it right in front of him. They gave him um, a coloring page. And Brady even said, like, why? I don't understand why they would give this to him. I'm like, you know what? At but, least they gave him one. Exactly. At least they gave him one. Uh, mm-hmm. I will say, so although we don't agree on, like, tablet time or whatever, we don't give, like, Xander doesn't play with a phone or whatever uh, at dinner time. The only time that he, I wouldn't even say plays with a phone. I'm like, here, you want to hold it? I don't care. Is while we're changing his diaper or, yeah. like, if we're sitting in bed and he's just, like, having a fit. I'm like, here, just distract yourself. Uh, funny enough, Brady posted a picture on Facebook that Xander had at some point in the night or the morning or whatever had his phone and took a picture of himself. Like, oh, yeah. It was so funny. The good angles. <laughs> the it good was angles. so funny. Um I will say also, like, uh, we talked about, you know, expectations at a restaurant. I have to remind myself. Like, yes. He's a baby. He doesn't know any different. So if he's screaming, and he's not screaming like throwing a fit. I feel like that's different. If yeah. your kid's screaming and throwing a fit, let's be kind of other people. Get up. Take your kid outside of the restaurant. Agreed. Go to the bathroom. Whatever. He's just having a good time. Like, ah, he's a breadstick. Yeah. He's like, <laughs> out. This is good. He or maybe not salad, but you know. No, he didn't have any salad. He did have a breadstick, though. Uh, so, yeah, he's screaming, jumping for joy, right? He is excited about what he's eating. Yeah. And uh, I have to remind myself, he's a child. So, Kylie, don't shush him. Don't dull his sparkle. Don't um, dull his sparkle. I love that. Yeah. I have a similar story. We were at the doctor's office the other day, and my doctor, ha- I was just in there for a checkup, and I'm like, oh, this is going to be in and out. You know, everything's good. I'm just aging, like, whatever. And um, I planned it specifically on a Tuesday or Thursday, knowing that the kids would be in school. Joke's on me. It was fall break. (laughs) That's right. And I'm like, you know what? It's fine. It's going to be quick. It's going to be... The kids are so good. Oh, man. Jet, (laughs) the doctor had an emergency situation. They failed to tell me until after she finally got in the room. So we were there Uh for almost two hours. Uh, Jet at one point just sacked Oakley completely on the floor and she falls backwards and hit her head on the concrete or whatever the floor and then she's screaming and then Jet's sad because he didn't mean to do that but he's really sad about it so now he's crying and Oakley's screaming and I'm like I'm so overstimulated oh my gosh that is one thing and you know then they they finally come in there and you know, the doctor's over here, like, trying to get my vitals, and the kids are just, like, climbing on me. And I'm like, oh, okay. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. And she said, no, I am so sorry. This is my fault. I should have com- communicated this to you. Um, well, she stepped out of the room and was like, I'm going to send in so-and-so to book your next appointment. Um, just wait here. And I love the the operations of this doctor's office because they you literally walk in and go straight to a room. They come to you, so she sends someone in for booking. Well, this person 
is taking forever. Now the kids are back to screaming. So I walk oh, out man. and I ask the desk lady, I'm like, um, can you, uh, can you help me maybe? And she looks at me and she goes, ma'am, your kids are being really loud. And I'm like, I felt oh, oh, I'm about to. lost my mind. Literally. And I'm just, just like, like your kids, I get it. I don't want to be here either. Yeah, like, I'm like, I'm doing my best. I've overstimulated. Mm-hmm. I'm crying on the inside, but smiling on the outside. Like, a momming. like, unless you've got something exactly. productive to mm-hmm. add to the situation. Yeah. And rude. it was just, it was really rude. And I'm sorry that yeah. someone did that to you. You know what? She was probably just having a bad day. I prayed for her when I walked out of there. I'm like, Lord, please give her some joy because that's mm-hmm. not any way to be in you know, any day. But anyway, um, overstimulation with noise is probably one of, like, my biggest that I can't handle. Messes, totally agree with you. Is there anything else that, like, that you can think of that sets you off? So we talk, you talk about the kids screaming and crying. As a new mom, your hormones are oh. bananas. And I will tell you that is one thing that I really did struggle with was um, – Xander didn't sleep. He still doesn't sleep well. But Xander didn't sleep well. And, of course, as a new mom, you're, like, exhausted. You don't know why your baby's not sleeping. You're doing everything mm-hmm. that you can. And <clears throat> when I tell you this child needed to be rocked, like, I got to a point one time where I was, like, physically um, hurting. Yeah. Because, like, I'm doing this. Everything. And walking around. I'm walking around. And I'm, like, trying to keep my eyes open, right? And... Not that Brady doesn't help, but there's just something different when they're itty bitty like that. Yeah. Daddy just doesn't do the trick that mommy does. And that's just a fact. Exactly. And <clears throat> I mean, I would sing to him and just, I did, there was a time or two where I got to a point where this is just like totally real talk right here. You, you hear stories about how moms give their baby shaken baby syndrome. And yeah. you you think to yourself, like, how in the world could somebody ever hurt a child? And it's not that they intentionally hurt their children. It's they get overstimulated. Overwhelmed over overwhelmed everything. Overwhelmed and just, like, react. I can't tell you how many times I had to, like, put Xander down, walk out of the room. So important to do that. Catch my breath. Did he cry while I watched? If they're crying, them? they're alive. <laughs> they're Did breathing. Did he cry? Yeah. Heck yeah. But my senses at that point were so heightened that I was just like, I I have to put you down and walk out. Yeah. And gather myself and come back and try again. <clears throat> and usually, as soon as I got back, I was calm. They also can sense that. And so, like, yes, and your that makes overstimulation them then makes them feel, you know, they, they match that energy, girl. Oh, they do. And so, yeah, as a new mom, gosh, the overstimulation is real. Or, like, if you're something I always thought to myself was, like, these moms that don't let anybody hold their babies, they're crazy, right? When somebody else is holding your baby, there's just, I don't know, like, in your brain, they're not getting hurt. They're not going to do anything to yeah, them. Yeah, but you're, like, like, but you feel just, this mm, about it. Yeah. Um, I also was that person to let anybody hold my baby but in my head i'm like okay i'm not gonna leave the room because if he starts to cry yeah what if what if i'm right i'm right here uh so so that new mom that's rough it is rough and let me tell you mom of three and justin being out of town for five days yeah he got home he's gone for five days and um he got home and was like I missed you. Hey, and wants to hug me and like talk to me. And I was just like, um, just done. I'm just going to go take a shower. And I'm like, that's not the wife that I needed to be, but it's the person that I needed. I needed to go take a break. Cause I was like, Oh my gosh. Well, all had children of the things on top of you and no break from that, mm-hmm. which being a parent, there's no such thing as a break, but whenever you've got a team, you and your husband, you get Double to go take a shower. You get yep. to have a hot meal, things like that. Where whenever it's just you by yourself, no two two double teaming bedtime, double teaming dinner, then cleaning them after dinner, bath time. Well, so I mean, to your point, like I take Xander, give him a bath while Xander's in the bath. Brady's cleaning up yep. dinner. So whenever we're done and Xander gets PJs on, 
<clears throat> then Brady's generally like making a bottle while I'm getting Xander in his pajamas. And so when you don't have somebody there to help you, it it does it feels different. It feels overwhelming, overstimulating. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like at a mental, just like I cannot and uh two of the, the three of my kids were sick. Oh yeah. In the midst of him being gone. And I was just like, I can't handle any more poop or puke. Oh. Like ah. And I went and I showered and I cried a little bit and I took my sweet time, blow dry my hair. Yes. And then I went back out there and I'm like, okay, you're okay. And that was dramatic, but I didn't have a dramatic outburst on anyone. Um, But just really trying to be more self-aware in instances like that where I'm just like, oh my gosh. Yeah. I need a break. (laughs) Like, ah! (laughs) Sometimes you do need to just scream it out. Isn't that the truth? <laughs> Brooke from the Friend From Within podcast talked about how she went to a plate throwing class. And I, re- yeah. I really like want to try that. I was having a bad day the other day and my girlfriends were like, do you want to go find a rage room? Yeah. I was like, I don't think that's the kind of um, output that I'm looking for, but we could do it anyways. Yeah, but let's try it. Did you do it? No. Oh. <laughs> no. See, and it's so funny because I'm like, it's not that I'm angry. It's not that. You know, I know that I'm, you know, fortunate. I have three kids. I have a husband. I have, you know, I'm not doing without in that sense. But it's just like, oh, man, it's okay to have a meltdown. It's okay to not be okay. Yeah. And, and want to throw a plate. favorite quotes. It's okay to not be okay. Yeah. You're just, you got this. Yeah. Next day is a new day. Wake up, pray about it, and you're good. Yep. And that's, that's, oh, man. I was praying a lot while he's gone. And first of all, I'm like, Lord, please heal my babies because yeah. that was no fun. And then just all of the things, all of these things were just not working in my favor. And I'm like, devil, you better get back. Like, mm-mm. like no, sir, not today. <laughs> <laughs> like, we are going to be happy. We're going to be healthy. And I'm going to order pizza for dinner because I'm not cooking. <laughs> hey, that was awesome. By Friday, I was like, pizza, DoorDash, pizza, DoorDash. Uh, oh, you want some more chicken nuggets? Cool. Yeah. We're out of fruit. Not taking all y'all to the grocery store right now. <laughs> yeah. No, for real. Brady the other night was like, hey, so I was just thinking um, we could go out to dinner tonight. And I was like, heck yeah. Like, you were just uh, thinking right. Because I don't feel good. Mm-hmm. I don't want to cook. I am I am with you on this. Let's do it. Yeah. Even though we're, like, trying to save money. I know. Justin and I... Just had lunch before this, and then we've eaten out twice this week already, and it's only Wednesday, whatever day it is. Yeah, I don't know. But we're, we're almost through the week. We're almost there. <laughs> but yeah, I was like, oh, we'll just be putting all this toward the house. But sometimes your mental health uh, is yeah, important. Exactly. But do you have a mom win or fail for the week? Uh, I have a fail. <laughs> Tell me about oh, it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So in the morning time, generally Xander's asleep, but there are some mornings like I'm trying to get up and get ready for work and he's awake. And so I just bring him to the bathroom with me, like in our bathroom, um, when you walk into it, it's like the sinks are right on this side and then the shower is on this side and there's like a little cubby hole for the bathroom, for the toilet. Yeah. There's not a door. And so um, I generally put Xander on the floor, let him play, let him do his thing and he, you know, he's mobile. He's crawling around. He wants to, like, pull up on the door jam and whatever else. And his new thing is to go pull up on the toilet. And first You're of like, all, let's not. that's disgusting. Um, but you know what? Sometimes you just, you got to do what you got to do <laughs> when you're having a morning and you're running late. I got to do it in my bed. got to get out of the door, right? <laughs> so I closed the lid to the toilet. And I'm like, just have fun. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And at one point, <laughs> don't tell me he's just like taking it back. <laughs> oh, no. I heard like a, I thought, well, that's weird. And I didn't do anything because he was just, he's right there. I mean, it's literally right here by the wall. I'm like, yeah. okay, he's not crying. He's fine. I'm, you know, curling my hair. Yeah. And uh, all of a sudden he's like, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> Toilet lid, and he's hanging. 
<laughs> oh no! He's literally got his pinky stuck, and he's sitting on the floor dangling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. She'll be back. <laughs> ah, it hurts. Maybe I should say something. When I opened the thing, <laughs> and looked, his little figure was all red. And I was like, dang, okay. Like, yeah. You cannot play with the toilet anymore. No toilets. <laughs> wow, that's hilarious. So, so I mean, he was fine, yeah. obviously, but yeah, I I felt really bad, but I did have to laugh about it. it because he, you he, have to laugh. I mean, he didn't cry. He was just like, Hey, uh, mom, I need some help. Do you want to help me? <laughs> Sweet baby. Oh, uh, what about you? So I have a fail, and it's not as funny. It's not funny at all, actually. It's like <laughs> bad mom. But so, um, Kenzie got the stomach bug last week, and Justin was out of town. Come Friday morning, I was supposed to go meet, um, one of my girlfriends for a walkthrough on their house. And um, the walkthrough changed from two to the morning. And I had a babysitter at two, but not in the morning. So I was like, you know what? Kids are great. I'm just going to take them with me. We get in the car and we're going and just like, I got to throw up. And so, you know, he gets sick and, and we rush back home and I'm cleaning him up. I throw him in the bath and then I'm like trying to keep Oakley away. Um, that was Thursday, I think. Thursday. Yes. Cause then by Friday, he's, he's doing okay. -ish. I'm like, oh, thank you, Jesus. It was just one time. It's fine. Saturday morning rolls around and it's time for our soccer game. Oh, well, Jet really wanted to be a, a soccer superstar. Jet loves two soccer. He doesn't love to play soccer. He loves two soccer and he wants two soccer. Hilarious. We'll, we'll get that grammar eventually one day. But, um, so Justin's out of town, and I'm I'm Googling, how do you put on shin guards? And then I text my sister-in-law and brother-in-law in a group chat, and I'm like, how are these supposed to go on? And my brother-in-law, Austin, was like, I can't believe you, or something like that. And I'm like, oh, I'm trying, and Justin's not here. And the, there's all these kids. You know, only three, but whatever. Felt like it felt like a lot. Um, and Jet's like, Mommy, my tummy hurts. I don't want to go. I'm not going to soccer. And I was like, yes, you are. You're going to go be a part of this team. We're going to cheer Sawyer on, my niece. And, you know, if you want to be a bad sport and not play, then you can be a bitch warmer, but you're not going to go up on your team. And so we are walking up to the soccer field, and he's mad. He's not about to soccer. And I'm just like, okay, you have your whole attitude, but we're still here. And, you know, my sister-in-law Amanda brought them cake pops. And she's like, if you do good, you uh, you know, you can have this cake pop. And Joe's like, I don't want it. And I'm like, oh, gosh, what a mood. Such a mood. I had to wake him up early. And Jed doesn't do early and, and all the things. And now he's saying his tummy hurts. Whatever. Oh, poor buddy. And so Sawyer's out there running in the field. And I'm like, Jed, just go play. And he's like, no. Eventually, he stands up and he goes and he plays. Then he comes back and he sits right back down. And I was like, see, you did so good. I knew you could do it. He's like, yeah, my tummy hurts. And he sits down and he's like, I want some of your water. So he drinks a little bit of my water. Wouldn't eat breakfast this morning, by the way. And stands up and just goes and starts just barfing his brains out. Oh, poor buddy. Right in front of everybody. And they're like looking at me and I was like, oh no, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry, Jet. He tried to tell me, but I was like, He's faking it. Yeah. <laughs> like, no way he's sick. Hey, Whatever. it happens. Xander can't talk, but I've done the same thing where I'm like, it's just a cold. It's all right. And then no, like, he had COVID and flu. Yeah. Hand, foot, mouth, and it's like all over yeah. them by the next morning. Oh, yeah. that's the worst. That one makes me feel. Yeah, I've been there, done that. Uh, awful. So. Oh, yeah. Well, he's better now. Exactly. Thank God. And it I was just like, last time. Lord, please don't let Oakley get sick. And I'm just over here like door dashing pepto bismol and like all kinds of <laughs> random stuff and i'm just like i just spent like 300 dollars on i don't even know whatever what. you and can sprite that he better. wouldn't drink like my mom brought over concord grape juice because she swears that that coats your stomach if you have a stomach bug uh, but you know we got extra groceries if you need anything great Holler. i'll come shopping <laughs> at your house 
But anyway, thank you for tuning in to the Mom Sense Podcast. I'm Cambria. And I'm Kylie.